Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm trying to find a, a place to sit. I got all my bows over here. I'm trying to put them, trying to put them up. Um, good grief, I have a lot of stuff over here. I need to hang them up. But, you know, I don't really feel like doing that right now. Because there's more important things to do. I got a package. All right, can you guys see? I might have to change the the camera. Hold on. Ugh, I don't know if you can see. Okay, where's the package? I got a package. Okay, and I promise this is probably gonna be my last one for a while because Mama needs to quit spending. But we'll open this one. And we will celebrate with the last package. Alright. This is from um, the same place that I... Was it yesterday? No. Let me get it open. Goodness. What did I order? I don't... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I remember. I was like... I don't remember ordering leather. Um, this is from the same place that I mentioned a couple of videos ago. Um, Miss Lou's USDR and BCI images. Is that what it was? Anyways, just go back and look. Um, she has a Facebook group. Oh. Alright, let's see what I got. We got some faux leather. And I haven't bought faux leather in a long time. This matches the ribbon that I used on that Chick-fil-A bow. Ow! That hurts my knee. You know, I keep, every night when I take a, a, a bath or a shower and I notice a bruise, I'm like, where did that come from? Well, ah, I'm always hitting myself. Alright. This, the bow, is it upside? Yeah, this bow right here with the, um, the Chick-fil-A. We go together like chicken and fries. It matches this faux leather. Can you see the faux leather? All right, so I got that one. And I got the Always Be Kind. Cute little bees on it. Can you see that? I should have fixed the camera, but I didn't. Um, I think I will fix the camera so you can... What am I going to do with this? Put that right there. Because I've got some cute ribbon. Actually, I'll get up and I'll show it to you. Okay. Sometimes I buy stuff and then I, I forget until it comes in. And some of this I don't even remember that I bought when it comes in <laughs> all right i got um this is like a unicorn unicorn squad theme and it's got some bottle cap images here's some of the ribbon y'all the light is in my face oh my goodness i can't even see hold on Ugh. all right so again unicorn then I got uh, salt in the air, sand in my hair. Thus, this one would be good for summer. There's the prints. Like a white with a gold dot. Anchors, sailboats. And then there's some hearts. And then, of course, you got some uh, doodles and the bottle caps. This one is like diamonds. I think that says, I'm so fancy. Those right there. Cute. Um, here's another one for summer. What does that say? Cute and crabby. There's um, multiple bottle caps, but you get the, the gist of it. I got the anchors. There's what it looks like. Mermaid uh, scales. The dots, which I love. And then I got, um, let's see, this is 
Oh, this is, oh, these two go together. This is Queen B. Put a little B on it. And then to go with that, I got the honeycomb. The honeycomb print. Cute. Alright. And then I got uh, some more watermelon themed ribbon. I didn't have the pink, the pink seeds. Um, I had the red and then here's some rind. Alright, so that is my Ugh, my haul for the day. Well, it's going to be my last haul for a while. Okay, I say that all the time. And then somebody's like, should I have a sale? And I'm like, yeah, you should have a sale. You should totally have a sale. Um, Alright, let me situate the lights and the camera and we will... I don't know what we're going to do today. I really, I kind of wanted to make some snap clips. I'm looking for a rubber band. Um, some snap clips on my cameo but I think my husband is in there playing um, a game on the computer or the laptop so I probably won't do that and I don't know we got some no I can't do fall leather um so yeah let me think actually got a kind of oh I do have to take pictures of these eggs so don't let me forget that because I hate taking pictures but I've only got two to take oh we can finish those triple twister bows um I think I just have to add the the toppers to them and I've got to figure out the bottle cap situation which I got new bottle caps some of these might might work. I don't know. I was kind of wanting something cheery. Mm, could do a unicorn. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright, I know you guys are sick of seeing this spot right here. Something sticky was here. I don't know if it was glue or maybe tape, but I'm going to clean that. And then we're not going to see it anymore. But I notice it every time I go to edit one of these videos. Alright, so I think I'm going to make a pencil bow. I don't know why I'm so stuck on the whole pencil theme. It was probably that dang cute ribbon that I bought. This one right here. I just love this ribbon. But now I've been wanting to make pencil bows. Alright, we're going to go way, way back to one of the first tutorials okay not the first tutorial but one of the first tutorials if you guys remember the pencil bows that I made ugh, cringe um, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about I'll leave links down below it was a very long time ago we are going to do a updated version of a pencil bow and I'm using this um, this yellow ribbon I mean hello you can see it's yellow ribbon but it's got like a sparkle to it um let me adjust the lights because I don't think you can truly see the sparkle there we go see the sparkle um I think I got this from JC rolling in ribbon and it's been a couple maybe three years <laughs> but I've still got it see I hoard ribbon all right I'm gonna make a triple twister and no I'm not gonna force you to watch me um, I'm going to go ahead and make the triple twister part, and then um, I think I'm going to put a tail on the triple twister. You guys know that I'm all about the triple twister these days. So, yeah, if you need the tutorial for the triple twister, linky link will be um, down below. But I'm going to spare you today, and I'm not even going to put it in and speed it up because y'all sick of it. I know, I know. So here we go. I need to search for a color that is similar to the pencil the wood that's what i'm searching for i need to search for you know the little tip of the pencil not the very you not the pencil okay it's all one pencil you know the wood part of the pencil and i'm going to be using a two and a quarter inch piece of ribbon for the tail 
so I need some two and a quarter inch ribbon for this part too. And um, y'all, I've seriously got ribbon stuffed in every little corner um, of this room. Would you guys like to come over here and just fill up a bag? Seriously, I've got bows in every corner too. Um, I don't even know why I've still got these, where I've got these, but look, I mean, seriously, I've got unfinished bows everywhere. This is like deep <sighs> problems. I've got problems. I don't know why this is, I don't even, what am I, this is, uh, I don't know why I put that there. All right, so I've got a few different colors. These are kind of similar. One's lighter. All right, so I've got that. Um, yeah, I think that would work best. And then I need, I guess, black or gray for the actual pencil lead. Should I do black? I should probably do black, but I don't know which one of these, maybe the lighter one. All right, so the problem with that is, I don't even know if I have black. I mean, oh, I got all these colors. Oh, and look, I was searching for the white, one and a half inch. And there it is. Um, Goodness. I don't, even, I don't have these in any kind of order. Alright, but I seriously, I don't think I have black. I have navy. That's not going to help. My struggle is not having, um, my struggle is actually not too much ribbon. It's, okay, let me rephrase that. My, my problem is I have so much ribbon, but the majority of it is printed ribbon, like prints, like the cute stuff, um, and not enough solids. I've got to move this. This is ridiculous. So, yeah. Um, I don't guess it has to be, maybe it can do, maybe we can do one inch. It's just going to be a pencil lead. So maybe we'll do one inch, but I got to find that because I just used that. Oh, I just bought some of that. All right. I'm so glad you're, you guys are here so you can, <sighs> you can't even talk. I mean, I'm talking to a camera, talking to myself. Basically, I'm talking to myself, but at least you guys are here listening to me. All right, I made the um, triple twister, and it's yellow. And if you guys are having trouble figuring out what to do with maybe your your thicker ribbon, um, the like this glitter ribbon that's kind of more difficult to fold, triple twister bows are the way to go, honey, y'all. I, triple twister bows are just, they're kind of my jam. They're my jam these days. Um, I mean, seriously, look at that side view. Honey, honey, oh my goodness, look at those loops. Woo! All right, so let me find the black. And then what we are going to do is we are going to put tails on this bow. Tails down here, and we're going to make the ends. One side's going to look like the eraser. Which I need to find a pink. I didn't find a pink. Here's a pink though. Got a pink. Um, one side's the eraser and one side's going to be like the pencil or the part that you write with. It's hot in here y'all. It is hot. Yeah, I've got the yellow. I clipped off a piece of hot pink. I clipped off a piece of, I don't know, tan. This is one and a half inch um, width. I'm just turning it sideways and then I've also got green this is 3 8 inch um, so we got a one and a half inch 
and the rest are two and a quarter inch. And this tailpiece is going to be two and a quarter inch as well. Of course, you don't have to use two and a quarter inch. You can use one and a half inch, whatever you want to. Um, now I'm going to heat seal the ends of the tailpiece. Let me clip off these little extras there. And then basically you're just shaping the other pieces and gluing them. It's really simple. And then uh, we will attach the tail to the bow. All right, so I guess I'll work on the eraser first. And this one's probably going to be the easiest. It's going to go right here at the end. So I need to make sure this is good and straight. And then I'm going to heat seal before I glue. Alright, I'm going to glue this piece down on my ribbon. See, it's going to go at the bottom. You can use E6000, but I'm going to use hot glue. Just a thin amount. Alright, that should be enough. Now I'm just going to glue right here at the bottom of the tail. And that was the perfect amount. And we're going to cover up this line with the 3 8 inch ribbon, so don't worry about it. Now, what you need to do is kind of shape it, you know, kind of round it off like a like an eraser. And that's why I clipped, or I didn't put it so far up because I might mess up. And then I might not. Okay, I did mess up. <laughs> this one needs to go down just a little bit. Okay, now this one. Oh, see? Y'all, oh goodness, practice makes perfect, right? Alright, I'm just going to round this, this off here. Alright, I mean that don't look too bad. I don't, do you think that's long, too long of an eraser? Maybe I need to, yeah, I think that's too long. Maybe I need to start right here. That was just too long. Alright, I think that's better. Alright, I mean, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you use your eraser and it's not all even anyways after you use it, right? Right. I'm just going to... I'm talking to myself. Alright. And heat seal so it doesn't come... Um, so it doesn't fray. Alright, whoo, I got stuff everywhere. Alright, now I'm going to glue a piece of my 3 8 inch. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. And I think I did the original one with, um, did I do it with silver? I think I did it with green, though. I think green looks better. Just reminds me of an old, you know, the old pencils. I don't even know what the new pencils are, to be honest with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to heat seal one end and then I'm just going to glue it down. Put the glue down. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's cute. I mean, it's not complete, but it's cute. I need to put some more glue down here, actually. There we go. Now I can trim right here on the edge. Oh, I like that. All right, there is the bottom. All right, now comes the tricky part because I'm going to actually do the lead. And that wood piece on the other end here. Alright, so I'm going to heat seal this. This don't catch fire. Alright, ow. 
Alright. You know what? That's not perfect. Perfectly straight. Alright. Now I'm just going to glue it at the bottom here. I should have used E6000. I've kind of grown to where I like using E6000 better now because when I glue my burst bows, it just, I don't know, it just holds better. And I used to hate E6000. But now I hate burning myself with that glue gun. All right, so the wood part is there. Now comes the tricky part because, mm, y'all, I'm not good at shaping. So I'm just gonna flip this piece of one and a half inch over and kind of measure it to the width of my um, ribbon down here. So, okay, this little guy, this piece of ribbon does not wanna go away. All right, let me trim and seal. All right, so I'm gonna glue it down and then I'm going to attempt a, like a little triangle, you know, like a pencil lead. Um, first time might not go as well as I'm hoping, but we can always do it again. All right, I'm not going to put too much just in case I have to pull it off. All right, there we go. I mean, we can have like a square pencil. All right, so what I'm thinking is like that, but how do I get it perfect? Do I fold? No. Hmm. Do an angle. Would that do it? I'm sitting here talking to myself again. Alright. So. Hmm. Woo, this is going to be a sharp pencil, y'all. Oh. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, my goodness. I know one side's going to be. Okay. <laughs> okay, really, really. Look at that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my goodness. Maybe I can fix it. Uh, I mean, mm, why did I do that? Why did I angle it? I'm gonna just, woo, okay. That don't look so bad. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now I'm just going to heat seal it before I mess it up. Alright. Okay. Let's see you, pencil. Alright, y'all. I think my pencil is ready. Now I'm just going to... What the heck? Oh, get off of me. I'm just going to crease it in the middle. We find the middle. All right, I'm just going to do like an accordion crease right here in the center. You can sew it. You can even take your thread and you know what? I might do that. I'm going to go ahead and thread it up so it'll be easier to go up in that bow. Oh, this would be cute just by itself. You know how some uh, girls wear the little ponytail bows? This would be cute. Just put it on a ponytail holder. I don't know. Maybe not. What do I know? Alright. Wouldn't that be cute, though? In the back of a ponytail? It'll be cuter on this, though. Alright, and then I'm just going to find the middle, and we're going to of it up here and then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to secure it in the middle and we'll put it on a clip and see what it looks like. It's going to be cute though, I promise. 
I think Kennedy is arguing with her brother. All right, here is the bow. It's super cute. I went ahead and put it on a clip. And there's the loops of the triple twister. And, of course, triple twisters can be worn two different ways. I'll show you. Get back in there, loop. You can have it that way. Or you can undo the loops if you want it more loopy like I like and then you can just play with those loops let's see all the loops all right here is the tails I was kind of thinking the tails were too long but you know what I think they're gonna be perfect now all right now what I'm gonna do is I have these images left over I have four images let's see yeah four actually three these are the same. All right, so I've got three images. I've already used this one. This one is already available in the shop. Um, it's always on point and it looks like composition paper behind it. So I'm not gonna use that one. So it's between, oh, this one, just a pencil with the cute bow or this one that says always on point. And I've also got three different bottle caps. This one, I think, is going to be a no. It's, like, checked. No, it's, it's polka dots. And it's just not the right color yellow. So, it's between the pink and the black. Um, I don't know, really know which one. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to use this. But is that too much with the black? Or should we just do the pink? Yeah, I think the pink. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get a bottle cap for the center. Got my little epoxy, clear epoxy circles. Go ahead. You want to be careful not to get your fingerprints on these. And put it over my bottle cap. And what I'd like to do is just uh, run this along your pants leg or something to kind of press it down so it doesn't get any bubbles or fingerprints. But you can always wipe the fingerprints off. I'm just, yeah, I'm just crazy like that. Okay, I had a felt circle, and now I don't have a felt circle. What did I do with the felt circle? I need two of them, actually. Here's one. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one to the back just to give that bottle cap something to hold on to when I glue it to the ribbon. I like to put I like to put a felt circle on the back and I like to put one right here before I put my bottle cap image down and I don't know what I did with the Oh, you know what? Here is this would be cute. It's black and white. Oh well, I'm gonna use the the pink. I'm down here digging, digging in this bottle cup drawer. All right, I got another yellow. You're not gonna be able to see it anyways, and that's gonna go on the inside, right? Like so. See. Alright, now I'm going to glue this on top, and you can use E6000 too, whatever floats your boat. I just really don't want to wait tonight. Alright, and since I put my fingers on it, I'm going to take it down here, just press it down and kind of clean it up a little bit. Alright, now I'm just going to put my bottle cap in the center of my bow. Alright guys, it is extremely hot in this extremely tiny office. So I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening to me and just keeping me sane during this crazy time that we are all going through. 
Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.